Okay, so possibly one of the biggest topics to cover is what happens after a wedding. Now, what do we do with those pictures? What do you do? Do you print them? Do they sit on your hard drive of your laptop? Do they sit on your phone? Do you ever get around to uh, making an album? And it's such an important issue now that in fact one study showed that the current generation of 20 to 30 year olds will be the most photographed generation in history, but will end up having the least number of prints. So I'll just let that sink in, let that just hang there for a second. The current generation of 20 to 30 year olds, according to a recent study, will be the most photographed generation in history, but have the least number of prints for the rest of their life. So from my point of view, I want to give you your wedding photos and I want you to love them and what you do with them is obviously your choice but I would stress that very quickly life moves on. You might move flat, you might get a new job, you might have a baby, please God, and start a family and suddenly the wedding photos in themselves start to get overtaken, certainly on your phone or on your laptop, on your social media feeds by the latest thing that's happening in your life. And the wedding photos just become a kind of a, almost a distant history. So I think it's really important that you give considerable thought to cherishing those memories in print. Now, we run a whole series of albums through an independent album design and production company called Treasure My Memories. Now, this company was set up by Jill, who still works for PTP, but in the last 12 months she's gone independent because she's so busy and so fantastic at what she does that I've encouraged her to take on more customers to do what she's doing. So Jill offers a service whereby, as the bride and groom, or the parents of the bride and groom, you go and meet with Jill and sit down with her to show her the selection that you've made on your online photo gallery. Okay, now there's another episode about the online photo gallery, so check that out. But once you've gone through the photo gallery and selected your favourite hundred or so images, go and see Jill. She's in North London in Crouch End. And sit with her and say, this is the kind of album, this is the kind of layout, this is the kind of actual physical material that I want for my album. She's got a whole range of albums there. She gives you an hour of her time, which you pay for unless it's already been pre-purchased in your wedding photography package. And then she starts the design process, sends you a PDF by email of the first design, you comment on it, she comes back with the second version, you comment on that, she then comes back with the third version, and at the third version, people are always happy and they give the approval to go to print, and at that point, Jill presses the button and it goes off to be printed in the UK once it's printed, it comes back to Jill, she checks it, and assuming that it's absolutely pucker and it's perfect, it's exactly as you wanted it, according to version three of the design, if I can, I will come to your house or to your office and deliver it in person uh, to make sure that it's exactly how you wanted it and to keep those fantastic memories going. So, just to recap, bear in mind that your phone and your tablet and your iPad and your laptop and your social media feed will get very quickly overtaken by the current events in your life immediately after the wedding. Don't forget that a, a photo album is there for generations. I mean, we're talking 40, 50, 60 years for your children and please God, your grandchildren to look at and really cherish. So give a lot of thought and consideration and take your time and to do it properly and to speak to Jill once you've made your favorite selection. Hope that helps.